over to the bed and breakfast where we're all staying. And um, that was built in the late 1700s. It's insane. They don't have stuff like this in Washington. I mean, people hadn't even crossed the, crossed the country. Arrived. Arrived. Thank you, Sammy. So I guess this whole road has historic houses. So we are gonna go take a walk later on and enjoy all the beautiful houses. A love language of mine, you know. Okay, so here's the Watson house that we're staying in. Oh my goodness. Are these beams from the 1700s? Yeah, 1767. Yes. 1767. Yes. Uh -huh. So the only new part of the house is here for. Okay. You did a lovely job making it flow when you have the same. The layout, you nailed it. I just want to do I'm doing a Oh, okay. Oh, that's Oh, that mirror. Look at that mirror. <laughs> Where did you get that? Oh my gosh. And these, are these restoration hardware couches? I'll show you what I picked out for them. 
Oh, you guys, this, I can't even capture the character and the charm of this place on camera. I don't feel like I'm able to do it. And it smells like lemons. So they were telling me all about the house. Oh, there's just so much to know and appreciate. The doorknob. They said that the walls are insulated with horse hair. And this is the oldest house around. Yeah, they had to figure out how to get the electrical done. All the, the doorways are crooked. Just, there's so much character, it's so sweet. Okay, you want to see what I got? So each of them gets some swag. So we have a silk eye mask, a card, and a yummy, luxurious throw. Oh my gosh, it feels like rabbit fur. Of course, we have some pretty treats and a fall candle. So everybody gets those. No, I loved putting those together. This is one of our girls, Janet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> in adventure mode we're in northern oh my gosh this is the italian section north end and we're at mama maria <laughs> now hoping, we'll get dry and we'll get a drink and enjoy Here we go. So the menu changes daily, and they make all their pasta fresh daily. We got the grilled peaches and gorgonzola, and mozzarella and warm tomatoes that says flown fresh from Italy. Yeah, and the color is like, really get, hot. Get the skin tones properly. It's, if it's not outrageously expensive. Hey, hi there. Hi. 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 Hi.
Okay, let's do this. It's been a, a lovely, mellow little low-key drive. Nothing too intense to get there. Man, it's really dumping the rain. <laughs> One of the things I've noticed around New England is that the stores themselves, like the, what do they call them? What the branches? Yeah, like the, um, yeah. I can't say that word. It's like a chain. It's like a the chain, the, the stores like 7-Eleven, Walgreens, Target, even those are architecturally matched to the rest of the, old, you know, old English look. Oh, I love it. Church. That looks that looks about right. What do you think? Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Look at those tents. <laughs> so lots of food in the middle. We are gonna really focus the on the white yeah, the bazillion okay. white tents. That's how round top oh, yeah. is. These are the white tents. Well, I mean there's hundreds of them. I got a picture of my life. You like fruit? That's a darn good picture. Mm -hmm. This is a Franchise. Oh, I wish I could take that chair. Joanne's found these sweet little pictures. Can you hear the crickets under this table? They're hiding from the rain. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're stopping at the Apple Barn Cafe. We've heard good things. I can take a picture of her. When in New England.
I've never seen so many vintage kids clothes in one place. I love that someone is so into this. Day two looks a lot different. This is what we have going on. Just a totally different feel with the sun out today. Right. <laughs> My goals today are actually to get all the way from Green Acres down past Quaker Acres. And I'll show you a map so you understand what I'm talking about later. But I have four hours to do a lot of shopping and I will be um, not talking to people. <laughs> I'm going into turbo mode right now. Wow. I'm looking for decorations for my bathroom wall. Kind of cool. You really? I, yeah. Well, I, I love dogs for decorating. Oh, wow. Oh my word. Just, just no excuse to not have cute little tags and hardware and things. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing on the trees I want to say that bookends are getting trendy, but maybe it's just the Iowa bookends. That and I see a lot of canes and yardsticks. I love those. <laughs> barn back behind the Watson house. I just have to share it with you because I know you're going to love it. They are working so hard to get it all ready for events and we were going to have our welcome reception here. Okay, go ahead. Do it again. <laughs> so there it is. Look at this place. Let's go in there. Oh, Beth. She's so proud. She should be. Bring. Good sound effect. Okay, this is their secret barn they've been working on. So we have fabric on the ceilings. Look at her balcony. She added tablecloths, beautiful tablecloths. All this furniture. Beth, where'd you get all your furniture? girl after our own hearts and then we have mirrors lots of mirrors on the wall 
massive table. Was this built? Oh, and you painted all these chairs to match? Okay, how many people can fit in here? 60. Oh, let's look at the wall over here. Teapots on the wall. And then she covered hand stapled burlap on the walls and covered them all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My Romeo happens to be in New York, but other than that, everything says fine. You know, <laughs> Ooh, I really like this one. I just spent my last dollar and I am officially at um, delirium, but still loved it. This place is gorgeous. I saw this driving in yesterday. What? And I cannot wait to come see it. Look at this styling. Wow. There's very few places that look this good, you know. It's the day. End of the day. You don't We're all a little tonight. loopy. <laughs> and you and show and tell it's tonight. It's all. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be really good. <laughs> So then I did this knockoff version where I bought $1 containers at the thrift store. I spray painted them cream. Hey, we are in day three and I'm meeting up with some of my behind the scenes girls. We have Good Sydney. morning. We have Elise. Hi. It is a zoo. I mean, talk about bad traffic and no parking and, but. But uh, this is where I guess it really takes off. And then we have um, Friday and we have Saturday and we're not gonna be here. I'm not gonna be here, but I can see why vendors come. It is awesome, it's a hack. Sue has said no more dishes and we're trying to intervene here. They're only a dollar so and they are so cute. Five dollars for, Five dollars for all. I like the shape of this. <laughs> wow, okay, that was Brimfield 2022. The sunburn is setting in, it's starting to itch. I didn't even know what was happening. You know how that goes. Okay, so I have lots of thoughts on shopping Brimfield, and I feel like there hasn't been a decent video done on YouTube. Well, I haven't found one. So hopefully this is a little more helpful. And I do have to add a caveat that every, so it's three times a year, and every time it's a little bit different. 
but I grabbed some business cards of my favorite from my favorite booths and I want to show those with you ones that I feel like were well priced well designed um, easy to you know barter with all the all the things so yes Bramfield is in my mind the mecca of antique shopping it's the best I've ever seen um, East Coast Wow talk about good antiques because the country is older and closer to Europe and so I, I do believe Brimfield is incredible. I want to come back every year. And I also now believe that if you want to get through the entire thing, you probably need to be here about five days. I thought I was going to do it. I'm probably like a medium paced shopper. And I mapped it out and I tried to do it. And I just like Brimfield, Brimfield won. They, they broke Sarah. I could not finish it. I was just glazing over and... Um, I started, you know, getting lost and it's not just the places along the road on the map, but, um, it's, these places go really deep back into the woods. So it's just huge. Um, we loved, let's see, Green Acres and Quaker Acres and then certain booths that I liked. And there's a kettle corn guy with homemade ice cream that was phenomenal. Anyway super fun trip um one more thing i'm going to show you we're going on a neighborhood walk tonight because the whole neighborhood that we're staying at that surrounds the watson house is gorgeous i mean not only did we get a pretty place but we got pretty you know a whole town to ourselves so i'll show you that and um then that's that's the end of our video thanks you guys for watching wow It just keeps going, you guys. These are all tie-up. These are all horse tie-up. So that must have been a hotel at some point. A hotel turned into apartments. Because Marinapolis. Preparatory school. Oh, that's the school. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is a huge fence. Yeah, it's got two layers. The National Historic Register of the Historic District Property. Okay. This place is all being turned into a bed and breakfast. Over the door. I don't know what you'd call that gazebo. So I think they do weddings back in there. We were just talking that you just have to have a full-time gardener well, to handle this place. The house, right? Cargo, no cargo trailer. The oh, there was no back doors. Here's our, it was the right shape. Here's our, but there oh. Were no windows either. No, Those are dragons. No windows. We have dragons. Oh my gosh, look at that. We have dragons. That's a little bit dark. It's, it's a little like, it's do you see any? Hmm. It's got feet? Where are the feet? Which is right here. Sancha. And then you're supposed to bang it. And don't bang it. <laughs> 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 